one just one one last thing like I, I'm not buying into Russian propaganda but I'm also not going to buy into an, I'm not accusa asking an accusation to... yes you are you're saying the proof is that I just said it so let me just appeal to you on behalf of all of us in the American people and the people of the world and the Russian people and the Ukrainian people one piece of evidence to suggest that the Russians are planning to use crisis actors to stage a false mass casualty event to use as a pretext. Just one piece, okay? And not you or Kirby or Jen or John Finer or Jake saying this is what is so. And then you turning around and saying, well, because we said it, it's a fact. So let me, one let, piece of, let me one make, piece of verifiable evidence. Let, let me make let me make a, a couple broad points. And I, I, I acknowledge this will probably unset, be unsatisfactory to you in the moment. Uh, but uh, here's what I think you know, uh, what I certainly know, uh, what everyone here knows. There are 100,000 Russian troops encircling Ukraine right now, uh, approaching Ukraine's borders, close to the borders. There are thousands of Russian troops uh, with the potential for some 30,000 Russian troops to stream in to Belarus. Uh, all of these forces are positioned, could well be positioned, if Putin makes that decision, uh, to uh, engage on Ukraine in a coordinated assault. Uh, we also know uh, that the Russians have resorted to these tactics in the past, uh, have uh, developed a remarkably similar playbook in 2014, amassed troops, uh, engaged in 2014, it is a historical fact, uh, engaged in disinformation and propaganda to paint Ukraine as the aggressor, uh, fabricated a pretext for an invasion, and went in. So with what we know from eight years ago, with what we have seen, you and I both have seen, everyone has seen, with what we have heard eight years ago, in the ensuing eight years, uh, and in recent weeks, um, it seems to me that uh, it should not be outlandish uh, that the Russians may be uh, engaging well, in this okay, activity fine, but not again. being outlandish doesn't mean that you have any proof that it's, that it's happening the second point, or being the second planned. Point, the Hold second on, point. Ned, you can't just, all of that may very well be true, probably is true, okay? But it doesn't provide any evidence of what you're alleging now, which is that they're planning this mass fake mass casualty event with quote unquote crisis actors which is something that you know in the US we rarely hear outside of the kind of you know nutty conspiracy theory um, uh, crowd well to be to be clear we're not alleging what the United States is doing uh, this is information available to us no, no, what the Russians are up to I understand your point but I just you, want to you do because I mean uh, you're treading into serious waters here and 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 if you can't provide any evidence other than well I said so and so it's a fact that's a problem Matt there's a second point uh, this is derived from intelligence intelligence in which uh, we well, have confidence we in which we have confidence the otherwise same confidence you had in, in otherwise in WMD uh, otherwise Iraq? otherwise I mean, what, what, otherwise we would not be making it public in the way we are uh, but here's here's the other point um, Intelligence and evidence, uh, these are two separate things. Uh, it is uh, yeah, no... But you're, but you're saying it's a fact and that, it, that you have proof and then you can't offer any proof and to, to, to show that it's fact. I'll drop it. But I think we Thank should you. move on. Yeah.